Hey guys, so assuming that you guys have watched uh, part one and part two, or I don't know why I'm saying you guys, anyone has watched part one and part two of this, how to um, drain a mold. This, is, this isn't this is even really going to be part three, this is just kind of a separate video, not even like a series or anything, just on how to um, take the mold off, um, and pull the cast, and get, just you know, maybe not rip it, or just, just, just get it nice and all that. So it's been hours, um, it's been... Uh -oh, overnight mold has been draining everything's still on there good um so uh yeah we're gonna take it off and uh you know separate the mold halves or maybe not separate the mold halves maybe i'll just pull it right out from inside but uh yeah things you'll need when pulling the mask uh is obviously your mold the cast inside and baby powder so yeah baby powder is quite essential for this process so uh alrighty so just take my mold lift it up and turn it upside down on itself just like this Now, before I pull this, the thing I need to make sure of is, okay, here, this, okay, here's all good. Um, look inside, make sure it's not super shiny. It's going to be a little shiny because it's nice, fresh latex. Like, if I put my hand in, it's fine. If you put your hand in and it's super squishy and it's, like, wet and you lift it out and you've got, like, latex on your fingers, that's not good. That means you need to let it sit um, and you just need to observe the whole cast. Um... I just put my phone in there just to show you guys. You want to make sure that in places like this, the chin area where it's flat in there, where it may not have drained super good, you want to kind of go in, just touch it, and feel in there. So that is definitely an area where you can get thick spots. Just look around, make sure it's all good, and there's no like, wet latex spots, and then you're good to start peeling. And so no baby powder is necessary yet. Just You'll have a lot of latex strips, most likely. And maybe if you're like a perfect caster, you you won't. So you just find areas like um, this, just around the edge, just to peel from, just so that um, you can get all the latex actually off the mold. Okay, just like that, and then you just start peeling all around. Not necessarily all around, but just all around the top of the mold, basically, or the um, the areas where um, the mold is sticking up, and like you know where the actual sculpt from, or like all that, the actual indentation of the mask um, is not. So all the places, because this all this is, you know, is obviously going to be cut off later. So just pull. So it looks good in there, and you don't want to pull any more necessarily. And I'm actually just going to cut off those excess pieces there. It's gonna make it way easier on me to actually be able to reach in there when we need to put the baby powder inside. So I just cut it off. Throw it away. Cut it off. Throw it away. And now, we get our baby powder. And the reason, if you don't know why I use baby powder, is because this latex is very fresh. And to give you an example, oh, let me find a piece of latex I can use to exemplify this okay Take this this drip right here from inside the mold this is fresh latex yeah if you put it together see that it's gonna stick and it's this gonna be a big old ball okay it's exactly what's gonna happen with your cast if it's not dry or soft or whatever you want to call it this baby powder is gonna help that so what, what, what i used to literally lather up my mold my the inside of my mold is so much baby powder in the cast and that would get really annoyed because the baby powder may not rub in all the way and it'll be this dusty consistency and for a couple days maybe a week after you're putting it on you'll get this baby powder in your hair so you don't want to put in that much really you don't need tons so just about that much in there to start i don't know if you guys can see it in there doesn't look like you can. Hopefully you can. Yeah, there you go. It's focusing now. Already. 
and just take your hand in there and rub it all around, being careful not to let your nails like dig into the mold because that could possibly damage a bit of your cast. Most likely not, but I mean, you always want to be better safe than sorry. Make sure you get it in all the areas that um, are needed. And uh, yep, I'm going to put in a little more there. Get it up on the sides up here where I wasn't able to get. You can rub a, a little more of this in once you actually pulled the cast out. Like if you weren't able to you know, get it all that first try. So you really want to make sure it's rubbed in there because if not, you're going to have a weird cast. I don't know why I'm talking so weirdly. But yeah, it's about rubbed in now. I don't know why that took me so long. I'm just, I really want a good cast and not at all. A powdery messed up cast so um, my bucket aside cleaning bucket and now it's time to pull so you can take the mold strap off and separate the two halves once you're actually pulling really in there. But basically what I do is I just take it and pull it. And pull it. And you see this? When you're doing this, it's going to bunch up on itself. See? You don't want to be hearing a real sticky sound or anything. And you will kind of just because it's, it's still fresh. But, um... Yeah, and now on this part, you want to pull very... I pull slowly, because I've pulled hard, and I get defects sometimes. So I'm just going to take it, pull very delicately in here. You see this? I'm just telling you, it's going to bunch up in there. It is going to bunch up. I'm just pulling real nicely, especially around these eye areas, where it is very likely that you're going to get um, a defect if uh, you pull it on that sharp plaster. Good. Looks like I've got a little tear there, which is fine. And alrighty. Just about good. Eventually you'll have it all pulled out. You can just make sure if it's still sticking in some areas. It's all good and then alrighty. Very nice cast, and it's gonna be a very white, light color um, at first because it's very, it's very, um, it's it's almost raw, you know. Um, so yeah, let me just set this down right here real quick, and, um, just do a little stick test there, I'm also just gonna cut it real quick on camera here, just cut the, um, this whole, the whole bottom flap, flappy, flappy slappy kind of stuff there, just... So I can give I can actually hold it in my hand and give you guys a good idea of what the cast looks like. And it, it may look slightly misshapen in some areas because it is a fresh, raw, essentially kind of cast and um, a raw pole. That's how you prefer to word it. Um, and it's still kind of drying and setting into itself, you know. 
And if you were to leave this in a mold for like a week straight, you would have a dry, dry, dry cast. So, I'm sorry if you guys can't see what I'm doing here. Um, if you if you guys are watching and then you see the video and it's uh you can't really see it, then that's my bad. You can just skip ahead, obviously. Uh, what can I put this on here? Putting this thing with baby powder, probably. I'm gonna set my mold back down. Um, I don't have a, a foam head out here with me, unfortunately. There it is. Very misshapen, obviously, because it's not on the head. And I would recommend actually putting it on the head. Um, and you can you can cut this all. Um, sometimes I like to let it sit for a couple hours so that the latex is fully like uh, you know, cured, whatever. Um, so that it's when you cut it, it'll stay true to that form and it'll just look good. The uh, only defects I've got are those there. Uh, those like little indentations. It's from those clay marks in there. Um, from where there were holes and I patched them and they weren't totally even with the surface, which is why I got that, which really is fine. I can just patch that up easily. This area on the head is um, a little strange. That's that area. Also, by the way, this is a Chad Gray Wild Cory mashup I'm doing, inspired by the face of Hollywood. Um, no defect on there or there or any really important parts. And I'll have to kind of scan it just to see how it is. Um, a little one right there. Um, and I will do a separate video on how to patch the defects. Um, this blank is pretty good, so I might not even really need to. But, uh, yeah, that's how to pull the mask. Mold's all good now. And um, I would also recommend tipping it up and over and cleaning it out in case you've got any little bits of plaster or clay or latex bits that got around so that next time you do a cast, you don't get it all weird. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hope this helped. And uh, I will see you later once I have turned this into a disaster piece of Bye-bye.